Good morning everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In my last video, I talked about the potential delay in Starship Flight number 2. This morning, we have some news on that front. SpaceX has to stack Starship S-25 from the orbital launch mount. This could be for a number of reasons. Perhaps SpaceX doesn't want to keep the fully stacked Starship there for about a month or so without doing anything. It's also possible that SpaceX will move S-25 back to the rocket garden, or simply keep it on the launch site. Destacking could also mean installation of FTS on the ship in preparation for flight, but that doesn't seem to be the case this time. Back at the production site, the stacking of Starship S-31 is in progress. Yesterday, Booster 10 underwent a cryogenic proofing test at Massey's. We could see only the methane tank fully loaded with propellant, and nothing on the LOX tank. If you enjoy short videos like this, don't forget to smash the like button. United Launch Alliance's Tori Bruno has said that the company is still aiming to launch its first Vulcan flight in December this year. The first stage Centaur 5 is in the final process of assembly, and Bruno has said that it will be rolled out to the pad in December for a static fire test before attempting a launch the same month. Before I end the video, I wanted to share the cool footage of a static fire test conducted by Stoke Space on its Hopper 2 test vehicle. This was an all-up test, meaning that it simulated all of the flight systems, including power, computers, guidance, control, tank pressure, the engine, and the heat shield. This suggests that Stoke Space is getting close to attempting a hop test. That's all the news for today. Thanks for watching, 